So listen, I, first of all, uh, uh, Jen, I got to start with you. Um, you started playing a video game at home. You became a professional race car driver. Uh, now there's a movie made about you. Um, how, have you played the lottery yet? I mean, like to like a scratch card because you'll probably win like ten million dollars. No, I've played the lottery once that was earlier this year, and uh, going, yeah, like uh, something happened to me, and uh, I was like, okay, some person said, look, you should play the lottery tonight, Euro Millions, and I lost. But uh, no, I've been very fortunate in my life, uh, been in the right place at the right time. Very fortunate to have people around me tell me you need to know what you want to do in life. Um, that being my father, um, and when the opportunity came to be, I was all in and off the back of that, this has happened, Archie playing me, it's wild. Like if you write it out, it's very, very far fetched kind of story. Um, but yeah, it's my, it's been my life so far. The crazy thing is, if someone actually wrote this screenplay, they would no one would make it because it's too unbelievable. That's so true. That's, That's funny. so true. Arch, I got to ask you a question. So I know that you practiced heavily uh, playing video games, playing the game to get ready for the role. What was it like telling your friends and family, listen, I'm going to be busy the next week. I need to play video games. Everyone, I mean, everyone was, <laughs> number one, very jealous. Uh, and number two, everyone wanted to join in and come and help me prepare for work. Um, but I was just saying like, you know, I wasn't a gamer growing up. And so it was because I always had, I've got quite an obsessive personality. So I just knew I had that thing where you play for hours and hours and hours and you think, what have I done with my entire day? And it was this unbelievable opportunity to like look past the shame of wasting, of wasting the day and being like, I'm at work. I'm doing something productive. This is so great. I could tap into what Jan was feeling of being like, this is actually leading to something this is great it's not just me playing the sims for six hours like it's just it's like i'm doing something i'm doing something constructive so i mean it was a dream come true loved it i'm curious what what did you, what surprised you about the way a hollywood movie is made because obviously this is your first time i know you were the stunt driver on the movie and you must have learned so much about making a movie so what surprised me was the attention to attention to detail and the scale of that as well the amount of personnel on set so I turned up at the Hungara Ring, which is a track I raced at seven years ago for a single seater race. And of course, the racetrack was full, full of teams, full of trucks and personnel and cars and people. Um, but when I turned up on set on the first day, it was as busy as it was seven years ago. But we happened to be there. I was there for the movie, which shocked, which really I had a conversation myself. I was like, this is really weird. You got to be prepared for this because it's going to be very mind bending. And everybody has a job for everything. The, for example, the, the cars, the attention detail, when they were shooting the Le Mans scenes, um, you know, when hours go by, of course, in real life, the car gets debris on the car. And same in the movie, there was a person kind of making sure that the car has more debris and more rubber and marks on the car than as the movies progressing through the through the Le Mans scene. So I was like, wow, it's just very minor things. It's just staggering to me and how it's all put together as well. I, I don't have the capacity in my small brain to, when they shoot something, to think, okay, that's how they're shooting it for that to happen on screen. I find that part of the artistry really interesting. So I was always watching the actors and how they prepare for each of their roles as well. So I was like watching you. Some people are very different in the way that they prepare themselves before jumping into uh, a scene. So I, I loved it. It was fascinating to me. You're not short. Uh, and I'm curious what it was like uh, with racing scenes because you're a big dude. You know what I mean? And generally, race car drivers are not as tall as you. You were right. Um, it was painful. <laughs> Uh, it was truly painful. It, we had to take the, like, the padding out of all of the seats so that I was just sitting on like the bare bones of the shell. Um, like, and, that, and the thing is, we would, 
I would always have the widest, the, the widest, the most depth seat. And it's still, you know, it was still a tight squeeze in there. My head is touching the roof. My, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm constrained. It's unbelievably claustrophobic. It adds to that feeling of claustrophobia and anxiety and, and insulinness. But there is something that actually, when I look past how miserable I was when I was doing the actual scenes, it helped. It helped. It helped get into character because you there is nothing you there's nothing else you can think about but you you are so focused on on you and your thoughts and when the camera is so close to your face that albeit you know you can mean sometimes in the helmet only really see my eyes that's all that you've got to play with like and and you've got so many of these thoughts like kind of whizzing around your head and and it kind of allows for all of that all of that expression to to be conveyed but I, I, I mean, it was truly one of the hardest things I've ever done being in that car. I just, I have so much respect for for all race car drivers. It is painful. It is taxing physically. It, I, I would be wringing out my clothes with sweat by the end of it. I'd be throwing up, getting out of the cars, being in the cars. I mean, it was one of the most physically physically testing things I've ever done. And thank God. I love the film and it was not in vain because <laughs> if I had, if I'd walked away and I hated the film, I would have been, I don't know what I would have been done, but Neil flew in to, to watch the film with me. And I turned to him and just said, thank God, dude, thank God. It's good. It's so good. It's so good. One of the things, my last thing for you, cause I'm just about out of time. Uh, he used, uh, Neil used new cameras that could, he could put them in places that, you know, with the, because of the, I believe it's the Sony Venice 2 or I forget the name of the camera. Um, so what was that like actually working with new technology like that? And then actually for both of you seeing the finished film and seeing the cool shots that he was getting. Incredible. It was, um, yeah, it's a first for many of us, pretty much all of us on set. I mean, we would, we would shoot sometimes with up to 10, 10, 11 cameras at a time. It was like, it was so unbelievable the amount, the amount of footage we were able to take. And David just told the story earlier, um, of, of the, the, the us shooting super wide and David asking Neil, um, are you going to come in anytime soon? He was like, Oh, I am in, dude. I'm in. And he was shooting on this unbelievably long lens and unbelievably close but wanted to keep the feeling of distance and these cameras just were so perfect for capturing that so sometimes i mean they're like football fields away and able to capture like unbelievably close unbelievably close and microscopic detail it was it was stunning um and and so it just meant we just knew jacques our dp we just knew we were in the best hands possible and it just what it really gave it gave us the opportunity to play so much because cameras could keep their distance cameras, you know, can, and, and you feel totally immersed in the scene. And we also knew that we were capturing so much footage at once. Now that is kind of unbelievable. You're being covered from all angles. It doesn't matter where you turn, there's a lens on you somewhere. And that is, is that means that you're not just going over and over again, the same tiny scenes you you've caught three, six of it in just one, in just one take. And that was amazing. That was really cool. Well, it looked uh, that the scenes in the movie, uh, there's the, we use a lot of drones. It mm. looks like a, it looks like a Gran Turismo game intro. So it looks very dynamic and, but it's not, it's real life. These camera scenes, these scenes haven't really been used before in a recent movie. Nothing is static. And um, yeah, I'm very happy. It's, it's shot beautifully and Neil, all the guys, they did an amazing, amazing job and mm. i love personally i love the scenes like in the in the pits with the rain it just looks it looks intense it looks real it looks how it is it's there's a lot going on the detail yeah i'm very very happy on that note, i need to stop i'm going to say a sincere congratulations and i really hope the movie's a huge hit for you guys thank you so much thank you nice to see you man